because you already called into question your credibility, in my opinion, when you put that you graduated from University of Guelph with a BA on a guardianship application, but your own LinkedIn can't even keep your damn story straight with that. Because on the LinkedIn, it actually says you graduated with a BA in political science and government in 2012 from Carleton University, different year, different school. University of Guelph is on her LinkedIn, but it says 2008 to 2011, which calls into question, honestly, whether courts should be taking a little bit closer look and doing just the tiniest amount of cursory diligence whenever people are filing to take over famous celebrities' lives. You see what I'm saying? Maybe when Lima filled out that guardianship application in Florida, somebody should have sent a clerk or somebody out to do a little research. Hey, check Lima's LinkedIn and see if she says that she graduated from University of Guelph in 2013, because all they would have had to do was look at LinkedIn to see that she didn't. She didn't. So she's either not being fully truthful in the guardianship application or she's not being fully truthful on her own LinkedIn. In either case, it calls into question her honesty. Hello, everybody. How are you doing on this fine Wednesday? I am doing great. Had a great night's sleep and everything's going well for me. So yesterday I did a whole live stream and that was fun. I have not done a live stream in a really, really long time. When I first started making videos, they were exclusively live streams. And then I kind of went to more edited format, but it was fun to do a live stream and take some questions and answer questions. Here's some of y'all's theories. So maybe I'll try to incorporate those more in the future. No promises. We'll see. But during that live stream yesterday, I did have a little bit of a breaking news moment and I wanted to make a dedicated video to that topic. And the topic is, did Lima Yavrimovich possibly commit perjury when she told a court that she graduated from University of Guelph? Put another way, did Lima graduate from University of Guelph? Hi, this is Mike Haber. What is perjury in the state of Florida? Perjury can loosely be defined as lying under oath. To be convicted of perjury in Florida, the state's got to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you took an oath to tell the truth, that that oath was given to you by someone with authority to do so in an official capacity, that while you were under oath, you made a false statement. And at the time that you made that false statement, you knew the statement was untrue. The kicker with perjury, the false statement must be material. And materiality is defined as having the potential to affect a pending issue. The other day, someone, one of y'all, sent me an email that basically said, look, according to the University of Guelph's public website, they consider a third party degree and graduation verification to be a public record. So let me show y'all what that person did send me. So here is the University of Guelph website and it is the website for the registrarial services. I think in the US we call this the registrar's office, but you know, same looking kind of thing here. And as you can see right here under the access to and disclosure of information, there's a section called public information. And it says the following is considered public information and may be released to third parties. That would be like us over the telephone or in writing without obtaining consent of the student. It says degrees, diplomas, Diplomas or certificates conferred, including specializations and graduation date. Awards granted at the graduation ceremony and published in the convocation program. So the subscriber is basically saying, look, you can request from the university itself whether Lima actually did graduate from there. Now, some of y'all might be wondering, BJ, why do you think that Lima graduated from there? Did she ever even say that? Are you just making assumptions about Lima? No, I am not. Let's look at the receipts together. So what I'm pulling up right now is the 2021 guardianship application that Lima did fill out in order to become Bam Margera's guardian. Now, something important I do want to point out here is Lima was already Bam's guardian in the state of Arizona when she filled out this Florida guardianship application. So let me pull it up here. So they do ask her some questions, like, for example, what is her relationship to BAM? And it says a family friend. 
Um, has she ever filed for bankruptcy? No. She says she works in mental health care, whatever, whatever. So then down here, it says educational history of applicant. And it does say Union High School, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and that she did earn a diploma in June 2008. Then she also says here that she did attend the University of Guelph in Guelph, Ontario, which is in Canada. And under the degree, she does put BA, which means Bachelor of Arts. And she says that she graduated in May 2013. So before we get into what the university actually emailed me and said, I want to show y'all one other piece of information. Now, this is not exhaustive. This is just some of the information that I have been able to put together. So the other piece of information is actually coming to us from Bam Margera's lawsuit against MTV and Jackass. Remember when he sued them back in 2021? Now, there is a filing in this case by Lima, and it is called Notice of Errata regarding the signature page. I'll just show y'all what I mean. So here we have that filing and as you can see Lima's name is on it it is the BAM versus Paramount and MTV court case and as you can see there's an exhibit attached in this exhibit there is a declaration from Lima in support of something BAM was doing and it says look right here the top declaration of Lima I declare as follows and she says she's an adult she lives in Florida and Washington and then number two paragraph says I attended University of Guelph Guelph, Ontario, Canada. I, the founder of the Yevremovich Institute of Behavior Brain Sciences, blah, 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 da, da, da. Okay. Then she goes on and says, I was a featured speaker at Harvard Medical School in 2018 and a speaker at the University of Arizona Healthcare Symposium in 2019. She says, I specialize in treatment placement and case management. I work with clients and clinical teams to create long-term recovery planning and help facilitate those structures of transitions for door-to-door -door care. In June 2021, Arizona basically made her BAM's guardian. So this is really interesting, and this is not really the point of today's video, but you see this part here, this I was a featured speaker at Harvard Medical School. Look at this. Look again. She's telling the court what her credentials are in this paragraph. I attended University of Guelph, which importantly, she does not say graduated and she does not say received a bachelor's degree. However, in that guardianship application we just looked at, it says under educational history that she received a BA from the University of Guelph. So what I'm about to show you is a picture from that alleged Harvard symposium that she was allegedly a featured speaker at. And tell me if it looks like it might be suspiciously similar to another photo that one of y'all found and sent to me. You see what I mean? Let me show y'all again. Let me show y'all again. Let me show y'all again. I'll show y'all the two different pictures that that came from. Hold on. So here are the two separate pictures and someone did find this picture. I believe this is the Harvard Medical School Dean and this is the picture that Lima posted. I mean, look at the microphone. Look at how she's standing. Look at just look at it. I mean, I have already covered this situation, this picture, this issue, but since Lima's educational background and educational history is now being called into question, I do just want to put that up there as well. So now I want to read that email and then I want to get into a little bit more information and evidence that I have come across having to do with Lima and her educational background and history. What I really want to get into is the inconsistencies because this is something that rabbit from down the rabbit hole news has brought up her position is sort of like it shouldn't actually be this difficult to verify someone actually attended a university like is there a picture of her is there uh anything of her from that university and um I, I gotta say i kind of agree so all right all that to say i emailed the school and this is what i said i'm writing to verify attendance and or graduation of a student the former student's name is Lima Takali. Please also check for alternative spellings, including Takali, Takwali, Takali. She also went by Lima Mora briefly before she was recently married. Her name today is Lima Yevremovich. If you would be so kind as to verify that she attended and graduated from Guelph, that would be great. I attach an application filed in court wherein she stated she attended your institution and graduated in May 2013. So the reason that I attached that 
guardianship application, despite like not actually having to do that. Like there was no requirement that I do that. I felt like the people who were answering this email were going to be like, it's kind of weird. You don't like know how this person's name is spelled. And I didn't want them to think I was up to some nefarious thing, like trying to look into somebody that didn't publicly spell their names in different ways over and over again, you know? So I kind of wanted to kind of give the impression that this was sort of part of an investigation just to make it less weird that I'm asking for 15 different spellings of this woman's name because she's the one who spelled them all these ways. You know what I mean? So then I said, if she did in fact graduate, could you provide the following information, degree, diploma, or certificate conferred, including specializations and graduation date, awards granted at the graduation ceremony and published in the convocation program? So the reason I asked for those two things specifically was because I basically like copy pasted from the public information section of that website. Remember this website we looked at? This degree, diploma, certificate conferred, blah, blah, blah. So I just put that in there because it is classified as public information on the website. So someone did email me back and she said, the form you provided is a guardianship application, which we cannot accept. We require a signed consent to release document from Lima. It is specific for a degree verification, which was mistaken. And I did correct her and email her back. I said, I According to the Registrarial Services publicly stated policy, Lima's signature is not required for you to release this information. In fact, the information I requested is considered public information under the policy. I've taken the liberty to highlight the policy for your convenience in the screenshot taken below. Thanks for your help. And so I sent her a screenshot of their own website that did say it's public information that doesn't require consent. And someone did email me back. It wasn't the same person. And he says, hi, BJ, the information on our website is correct. However, in the search of our graduation database, there is no responsive record for Lima in the system. <laughs> For any further information that you might be seeking, we would require consent from Lima to release other information. Have a great afternoon. Thank you very much for following the policy. And that kind of still leaves us in the position where it's like, hmm, did she go by a different name at University of Guelph? Maybe. But then why would she just be going by such a different name? She changed her first name after graduating from college, like I want to leave open the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to say I know for sure Lima did not graduate from Guelph or whatever, but there is some other conflicting information that I do want to look at in the search for whether Lima committed perjury when she said she graduated from the University of Guelph with a BA in May 2013. First of all, I did go ahead and check out YouTube.com and let me pull that up for y'all right now. But I did check on YouTube whether the University of Guelph had their graduation ceremonies posted. Come to find out, they do have their graduations posted online. And again, Lima did claim that she graduated in May 2013 and these are all from June 2013. Um, But you know, maybe somehow she just got the date wrong there. I mean, I remember very specifically when I graduated from college, it was May 2013. But I mean, May, June, who cares, you know, kind of thing. So that's not in and of itself telling. But I went through all of these University of Guelph graduations and I did not hear any Lima Takali, Lima Yavrimovich, Lima Omar, Linda Omar, Lima Mora, April Mora. I didn't hear none of that. Very interesting. I checked, you know, other campuses I checked Ridge Ridgetown campus. I, I checked as much as I could. I did not see Lima. I did not hear her name. But wait, there's more. If you go to Lima's LinkedIn page, you do see Ara in her thumbnail, Autonomous User Rehabilitation Agent. And then on her education up here, she has another university called Carleton or Carleton. So when you scroll down to her education section, it does say University of Guelph, BA, Political Science and Government. 2008 to 2011. And then she says that she was a philosophy minor. What I find interesting about this is that it does not match up with what she told the court in Florida. What she told the court in Florida is she got her BA from University of Guelph in May 2013. Y'all remember that? Now she's saying she only went there from 2008 to 2011. So in Lima's own words, she has not kept her story straight on her graduation date or where she graduated from. You see on her professional LinkedIn, it does say that she got a BA in political science and government in 2012, which is a full year 
before she would have been able to get a BA from Guelph in May 2013. But again, this is something different than what she said under penalty of perjury in the guardianship application in 2021. So I'm like, all right, you know what? Let me go verify with Carlton whether Lima attended there or not. So I did go to their website. As you can see, we're at the registrar's office. This is another Canadian university. And this is where it starts getting so weird. It's just, God, it's already so weird. It's already so weird. Like I guarantee you, if you hit up Louisiana State University, verify where, that I went there, you'll be able to find it. Like it's very weird that I, you just can't verify anything. Like you can't even verify with Lima's own words. It's her own track record. When or where she graduated. Was it Guelph in 2013? Like she told the court under penalty of perjury in the guardianship application. Was it Carleton in 2012, a year before? Like she says on her LinkedIn. Was it somehow both? Did she get two degrees back to back, two years apart? Why can't University of Guelph find Lima's name in their graduation system? Did she actually not graduate from there? It's just, I'm just curious. So I go to the Carleton University page to try and see if I can verify that Lima graduated from there and look what I find. So here's their page to verify degree. It says, to improve the service, Carleton University has partnered with Aura Data, a Canadian company specializing in secure online education verification. How to verify your degree. If a prospective employer wishes to confirm your degree's validity, there are several ways to accomplish this. You can request a certificate of enrollment, a copy of your transcript can be ordered, or in some cases, a copy of your original diploma may be sufficient. If the employer requires independent confirmation, they may request validation through a company called Aura Data. Aura Data is available for employers and institutions to confirm the education claims or professional designations of an individual that has graduated at any Canadian university, college, or professional association. Please note that the ARA data system is not for individuals to confirm their own graduation. And then look, a signed authorization from the graduate is required at all times by ARA data before the release of any information. So two big takeaways for me here. Number one, Carleton or Carleton University is not like Guelph. They're not considering the graduation verification to be public information, which I absolutely think it should be. I think your graduation information should be public information, in particular when you are soliciting the public as investors like Lima has. She's done investment pitches to investors publicly. People should be able to verify that she graduated. But look, listen, that's what Canada's doing over there in Canada. I can't really speak to you. But another dead end to try and figure out if Lima actually did graduate, frankly, from anywhere at this point. But is it Carleton? Is it Guelph, like she said, under penalty of perjury and signed her name in the guardianship application? We do not know. The other big takeaway here is that the verification company is called Aura Data. Like, why do we keep running into this name over and over? Now, I want to be very clear. I have found no evidence that this Aura Data is in any way related to Lima, Aura Autonomous User Rehabilitation Agent. Aura itself is a very common word. There are many, many, many businesses with the name Aura in their title. But I would be remiss not to point out that I'm trying to verify that Lima actually went to this school that's listed on her LinkedIn and they be using the Aura data system to verify if people went there and you cannot verify it without Lima's written consent. Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. And then the last question, I think, let me see. I think that was all I really had as far as the evidence. But the last question I really did want to ask and, and check the pulse on, because I think sometimes when you're really up close to a story and really outrageous stuff is happening, you kind of get numb to it. I also think sometimes the other phenomenon can happen where you just think stuff is just wild and crazy when it's really not that wild and crazy. So I wanted to just take the temperature of like public opinion, what y'all think. Do you think it's a big deal that Guelph was unable to confirm whether Lima graduated from the university and that she said she did graduate from there under penalty of perjury in order to kind of apply and qualify to be BAM's guardian. Is that a big deal? Would you consider it to be a big deal? Like, is it possible that maybe, you know, Guelph just isn't competent enough to search their own graduation system? Like, 
what do y'all really take away from this? Like, what do you really think about it? Is it a big deal or is it does it not really matter? Is it is it weird that it's so difficult to verify someone's graduation? I mean, Rabbit said this too yesterday on her live stream. She was like, people could say that about me. You know, I haven't provided them with my transcripts or with my proof of graduation or anything like that. And true. I mean, probably none of y'all have probably seen my like actual degree or my diploma or whatever, which... I do have it. If y'all really want to see it, I could show it. But there's like pictures of me at law school, like with friends, hanging out with people, doing things. There's like a a digital footprint that I actually attended and graduated from these places on top of the fact that there are pictures posted of me graduating from them. And yeah, if if during the editing of this video, I come across my, uh, I can locate my college degree. I'll just put it in here too. But Also, I have not relied upon my degree to take guardianship over someone, and I have not told a court under penalty of perjury that I have a degree in order to appear to be competent to take over a guardianship for someone. You know what I mean? To me, it's not really that important if someone has a degree or not. I think that somebody who does not have a degree can be a perfectly capable guardian. I really don't think you need a degree to be a guardian. And that's one of my strong stances. I can see a universe where it's perfectly fine to not have a degree. So this isn't coming down to whether or not Lima graduated in and of itself to me. What it's coming down to is whether she lied. Because if you will remember, a big reason that she sued me is because I said she lied. And her problem with that is that it calls into question her credibility. I'll take a picture and put it in here what her lawyer's stupid reasoning was, but their alleged reasoning is that me calling Lima a liar is bringing into question her honesty. And to bring into question her honesty affects her life and her reputation and her money or something. I'm paraphrasing. I'll pull up the lawsuit and I'll put that part in here. But if you're going to sue me over saying you're a liar, you better make damn sure you're not a liar because you already called into question your credibility, in my opinion, when you put that you graduated from University of Guelph with a BA on a guardianship application, but your own LinkedIn can't even keep your damn story straight with that because on the LinkedIn, it actually says you graduated with a BA in political science and government in 2012 from Carleton University, different year, different school. University of Guelph is on her LinkedIn, but it says 2008 to 2011, which calls into question, honestly, whether courts should be taking a little bit closer look and doing just the tiniest amount of cursory diligence whenever people are filing to take over famous celebrities' lives. You see what I'm saying? Maybe when Lima filled out that guardianship application in Florida, somebody should have sent a clerk or somebody out to do a little research. Hey, check Lima's LinkedIn and see if she says that she graduated from University of Guelph in 2013, because all they would have had to do was look at LinkedIn to see that she didn't. She didn't. So she's either not being fully truthful in the guardianship application or she's not being fully truthful on her own LinkedIn. In either case, it calls into question her honesty, which is something that happened outside of my research. That happened outside and independent of my research because that guardianship application was filed before I knew Lima existed on this planet. Okay. So before you sue somebody for calling you a liar, you better make damn sure you ain't a liar because a jury of my peers is going to certainly have questions about this particular thing. Did Lima graduate? Did she graduate from Guelph? Did she graduate from Carleton? Why are Lima's stories conflicting? Why does Lima herself tell you two different things Two different places that are able to be accessed from the public record. I don't know. Questions I'm wondering, though. That's all I really have for today. In the meantime, facts ain't defamation. Love you, Mina. Okay, bye.